As you may have seen from our website, we've issued some alerts for snow on Sunday and Monday, and I'm going to explain a little bit about some of the details and background to those alerts. What we've currently got at the moment is a lot of cold air over the UK, the North Sea and near continent, but we've also got a quite a large active frontal system out of the Atlantic Ocean, which you can see here, and that's moving towards the UK. Now the idea is it's going to nudge into the western part of the UK on Saturday, bringing with it some rain, but as it meets that colder air during Sunday, it's, um, it's going to in turn increasingly to, uh, to snow, particularly over parts of Scotland, northern England, the Midlands, eastern England, parts of Wales, and eventually northern Ireland as well. So what you can see from these charts behind me uh, is the frontal system moving in, and you can see that it kind of gets diverted southeastwards across the UK around the colder air, and it's the feed of colder air getting into the system that causes things to turn to snow. Now, of course, when we do make an alert or a warning, one of the things we have to think about is the probabilistic element. We've got deterministic models which basically give you one solution and then in order to try and get some sort of objective quantification of what the full range of possibilities and probabilities are, we use something called ensemble forecasting. Now the idea of ensemble forecasting is that you take your initial starting conditions, change them ever so slightly and then run the model again. We do this several times, in the case of our own ensemble suite, 24 times, and that gives us some way of producing an objective, probabilistic quantification of a weather situation. Now to give you an example, this is a chart for Sunday afternoon and what it's showing is the chance of snow affecting, um, well, the chance of about a centimetre of snow falling anywhere in the UK. And the way to look at this is the orange colours give you a sense of where there's a reasonably high probability of snow, red's the highest probability, and greens and whites are much lower probability. So from this, what I can ascertain is that the chance of um, the, the, the heaviest and most significant snowfall is perhaps over the higher ground in central Scotland, and then further south in an area extending just about into East Anglia, but mainly across the Midlands into northeastern Wales and into northern England. And although the probabilistic charts do give you a little bit more of a sense of confidence in the forecast, it's worth pointing out that things are still quite finely balanced and there is quite a lot of uncertainty regarding events on Sunday and Monday. So um, my best advice is that uh, you keep in touch with the alerts and warnings on our website and check again later on Saturday morning and again on Sunday for updates.